Hey everyone, Jeremy Senpai here. I just wanted to say thank you so much for clicking on my video. And if you like what you hear, feel free to hit like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. All right, on with the show. As always, keep calm and put your headphones on. All right, everything's all taken care of. Looks like the pasta is coming along well. The rolls are in the oven. I dare say that lunch will probably be my finest work yet. Hm. Then again, I always outdo myself. Hm? Luffy, if that's you... <sighs> Seriously, I told you before, lunch will be Ray when it's Ray. Now stop complaining and... Oh! Sorry about that. I thought you were our, our idiot captain. Please, please come in. Sorry, but looks like lunch isn't quite ready yet. I mean, don't get the wrong idea, I love cooking, but at the same time, I'm kind of the only one able to do it. And plus, cooking for about 11 people, with myself included, can be a bit tiring at times. You actually came here to offer me help? Well, that's very sweet of you. Honestly, every once in a while I could use some help. The others aren't exactly what I call reliable, if you know what I mean. Anyway, you can start by cutting up those vegetables. They're already washed, but I haven't gotten to them yet. No, no, you're doing very good, very good. But also, take it easy. I sharpened those knives just yesterday. See, there you go, there you go. I dare say that yours are probably a little bit more artistic than mine are. Yes, yes, you are right. I did cut up a carrot in the shape of a heart. But yours... There's a certain finesse and finality to the way you chop vegetables. Oh, sounds like the brioche is ready. Why, thank you. It's actually based on one of the recipes that Eva gave me. It's something about bringing out more of a energy breakthrough in us or something. I mean, I tasted it, and it was incredible. Of course, I modified it here and there, as I did with all of the Kama recipes. All right. Let's see, where did I put that butter and the cheese? Just gotta melt it a bit, mix it in with the butter. Very good, very good. And back in it goes. You see, it's basically the topper for the brioche. That way, it'll have a little bit more flavor to it. I've only tried this three times before. You, you weren't with us when I tried it, but I dare say that you'll probably enjoy it this time. And let's see, what else do we have? We have the seafood pasta. I made Robin and Frankie sandwiches and hamburgers. And that fish that Usopp caught, that's going in the pasta. For Luffy, I have his usual 10 pounds of meat. For Zoro. He can get by on just the white rice. Okay, okay. I'll include a little bit more. Yes, I'm being nice to him, but at the same time, he literally says he'll eat anything. Yeah, I'd love for him to eat my boots sometime. See, there you go. I'll just help myself to some of your vegetables, sprinkle it in. Chop up some of the chicken and fish. A few pickled vegetables right here, and voila. Zoro has his very own bento. Oh, and if you look over that way, I already prepared some mini cakes for Nami, Robin, Chopper, and yourself, of course. <laughs> Why, thank you. I definitely learned a lot from my time on Whole Cake Island. 
Pudding and Chiffon were more than happy to share some of their recipes with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Things were definitely a bit chaotic there, but if the worst I got out of it were some bruises and some more recipes, then I consider it easy in the past. Alright, what am I missing? Oh, the tea and the coffee for Robin and Brooke. Why, thank you. As usual, you are an amazing help. Um, let's see, the tea, the tea and the coffee, the cream and the sugar should be in the next cupboard. Just put it on the platter next to both pots. Great job, thank you. You really are an amazing help, even if you're only here at the end of the preparations. Oh, please. You give yourself too little credit. Hey, tell you what, if you're ever looking for something to do, you could be my assistant whenever I'm preparing meals. Though, you probably aren't going to help me out for breakfast. Why? Well, I wake up first before everybody else, so I'm the one who has to get the earliest meals out of the way, and I think I would very much prefer it if you just slept. It's not a big deal to you? Well, it kind of is to me. So, tell you what, help me out with lunch and dinner tomorrow, and we can talk about it, okay? <laughs> very good, very good. Okay, everything's looking good so far. The brioche is still going to need a few more minutes. The seafood pasta is simmering for taste. I've got everything else covered. Hopefully it won't diminish the taste too, too much. You don't think so? <laughs> well, it's nice to know how much confidence you have in my cooking abilities. I know, I know. I mean, I have confidence in my abilities too, but at the same time, even I feel like I kind of don't do enough justice, you know? Why, thank you. I'm glad that everything I made for you so far is up to your satisfaction. After all, I'm cooking purely out of love here. Love for you, love for Nami, love for Robin, the love for the rest of my friends. Okay, most of my friends. Zoro and Jinbei are a bit much. Okay, okay. Look, I don't dislike Jinbei, but at the same time, he has caused some trouble. What trouble are you talking about? Well, go talk with him sometime. You'll probably get the idea. I know that's not all his fault, but at the same time. Oh, the brioche is ready. So, what do you think? With the butter and the cheese on top? I dare say that you've never seen a loaf quite like this one, don't you think? <laughs> Why, thank you. You always say such sweet, wonderful things. Okay, now for the pasta. Here in the bowl it goes. Set it right there. Chop up the fish. Make sure everything is good. All right, now if you'd be so kind as to gather up the Nami, Robin, and the rest of those bums, that'd be great. Thank you. You know, I have a feeling that lunch is probably going to be a bit more tastier with you here to help me out. Ah, uh, you're blushing. You know you always want to hear compliments from me, and yet you always seem so frazzled whenever I do it. <laughs> oh, please, I'm just messing with you, of course. Anyway, love you, darling. Love you so much, mademoiselle. Now, please, let's get lunch started before it gets too, too cold. <laughs> 